What water? Oh, hello. <laughs> How do you think that <laughs> So, in a short space of time, I learned a lot. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to learn today, but uh, I need to try and remember what we did first time and make sure I do that. You look, looks like you set me up with a bit more of a challenge. Just by seeing water freaks me out. Yeah. But um, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'll be in there, in in there a way? few times. Why does that freak you out? It's just like, it's like if I, if I have a, a tea and there's quite a narrow set of trees each side, yeah. you can't help but have that, like your whole view just gets narrowed. Perfect. Uh, so you can't help but see that. It's like, I've got a very small gap that I need to hit and it just adds pressure. Perfect. Uh, I'm sure it's like that for other golfers as well, but for my level, that that creates a that bit more. Great problem. And I sometimes do that on purpose because you know golf is not a game of of perfect, is it? Yeah. You know, we have challenges, but what we want to do now is is to build something, a swing that allows us to hit shots where we want them to go, rather than trying to avoid targets. Yeah. Um, so we've we we've got a great session today. What we what I like to do is just a recap on what we did last time. Okay. And then we're going to start to build a shape of a golf swing today. Cool. Feeling okay? Yeah. Ready I um, for it? I was going to ask as well. Warming up. Yep. Because you obviously don't want to get muscle pulls or anything like that. See golfers do that. That that is that all? That I think all correct? It, no, no, that's wrong. Big. The golf swing involves big muscles. So Thank if you. they're really tight, or if you've been sat at a desk for a long time, you've been driving yeah. for a long time, that's going to be an issue. So yes, we should we should be warming up really. Yeah. Um, there's loads of different ways of doing it, uh, but a very, the one that I do easily a hundred times a day is just turning my body right and left. So golf is a very unnatural sport because everything is rotational. Mm -hmm. Most other sports are face on. Mm -hmm. So we, we use very different muscles groups uh, than other sports. So just warming up this way is a fabulous thing to do. But okay. when I start to show you the arms, uh, how the arms are going to move, we, that is also going to start to help you loosen up because okay. we'll be doing that before we hit lots of golf shots. Yeah. Um, so yeah, ideally there's, you should be, we should all be warming up. Yeah. Especially okay. if we've uh, been sat in poor posture for a while. Okay. Good. Great question. Yeah, let's get to it then. So what we're going to do now, let's recap on your setup. So what can you remember from last time, just very quickly? Arms, hips, knees. Brilliant. Tighten that into a nice level of three. So it was, because my stance was far too wide, um, so it was using the... So more of a natural a stride. Smaller, smaller step. Um, the position in the crease. Yeah. Uh, my hand position on the grip, sitting on there, bring it down, coming down. And then uh, moving my feet rather than the club to wonderful to get closer. Wonderful, great moment. Yeah, cool. So um, what we'll do, we'll try a couple of shots from this, uh, just getting used to this posture, and then we'll get stuck into not to squat. Not good, is it? Squatting is not good. Even when you do that, can you feel your your thighs are under a lot of tension? A lot yeah, of I actually did squat the other night, so that actually that did hurts. hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the um, yeah, soften, soften, soften the knees soft, is what you said. Yeah, relax, soften, That's and then. To untense myself. So that's it. So you just look fractionally close to it there. If you just nudge your took feet slightly further back, just there you go. Just getting that in the right place. Yeah, and you said about because my club face was too a close to bit, the edge. Yeah. So you were tended to to have the golf ball a bit more towards the heel of the golf club. Yeah. So we're just trying to keep it nicely in the middle. Yep. That's okay. It. Cool. That's something I can keep remembering. Oh God, I just seen those water again. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> what water oh hello so we haven't even touched the golf swing yet and we'll take that one 99 yards straight on the green what so is the water on here that's a good start that's episode that's two nice. <laughs> how how does the setup feel does that feel, felt really good and have you been able to practice it a little bit well given the weather time of year and the fact that this is a simulator not really but the I, yeah it, without the clubs in the house because i would smash something um <laughs> keeping that rotation but yeah I think I've kept in mind I've been able to do it without using clubs or golf balls weirdly because it was all about the routine. setup yeah the routine and trying to make that the muscle memory for future and become a habit. Can I show you a very quick way of doing this if you've got nothing you just yeah please kind of two for one so what you're going to do stick your left thumb out and you're going to hold it with your right hand okay so you're just holding your thumb oh sorry just holding the thumb that's it arms hips bend forward from your hips so there with your knees. Keep your knees straight. 
Oh, sorry. Bend forward, bend forward. Oh, there you go. And now just relax your knees. There you are. You've just practiced it. <laughs> so you're just holding your thumb, arms, hips, knees, done. So yeah, imagine we... how quick you're going to get at that. Yeah, because we didn't touch on the swing last time. So I was about to go like that, but then yeah. it wasn't anything that we touched upon. No, we didn't do that. So, yet. Yeah, it's so, just that setup. So. so that then becomes you get really, really quick at it. Yeah. Uh, so although it feels a bit bitty to start off with, it, it, it soon takes shape. Do you mind if I see if I can do that two more times? Please. Oh, he's really showing off now. So somebody has been practicing. So that one's now gone up to 100, and I know it's running on the green, but it's gone up to 117 yards, but more importantly, back on the green again. Does it say how far from the pin it is? Uh, it's 27.7 feet uh, to the right of target. It'll take me another so four shots to get that in anyway. You're uh, nine, nine yards away from the flag. Nice, okay. Right, well, let's see if this... I had to do my math, sir. So you're just going through your routine. And then what you did with that, hopefully without even noticing it, as you just before you were about to hit the shot, you did a breath out. <sighs> that just helps everything helps to relax. relax a bit more. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. Soften. That's it. Okay, don't go in. Don't go in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> Is that the easiest lessons you've ever had in your life? Okay, so they're really consistent. Really, really nice golf shots, yeah. So it's not really look that they're consistent in terms of setup. You've just gone through that lovely routine again. Okay, good. Right. Well happy with that. Oh, well happy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> and it's recorded. Um, just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Know that you're doing something right. Exactly, yeah. Rather than wrong. What? What already? What's that doing to your confidence? Massive, yeah, I, yeah, massive. Because, like I said before, that's daunting. Yeah. Um, if you, I'm able to hit three shots onto the green with that going on, that is a, a confidence booster. And inevitably, like if you're playing with mates as well, and they say, "Oh, good shot there," um, like you, you get your confidence boost off that as well. Definitely. Because your mates not might not be able to do a shot like that every single time. Um, it's a whole different story, but my putting would probably let me down for that build-up shot. But that's um, that's by the by because it's it's not what we're doing at the moment. Yeah, we we definitely we can look into that one. So what we're yeah. going to do now, let's um, start to build the shape of a golf swing, and we're going to split that into two sections. We're going to work on the body movement, and then we're going to work on the arm movement, and then okay. we'll piece them together. Yeah. So so I start to look like a golfer. Now you're going to start. <laughs> so you know, like I said before, imagine you're a piece of clay. Now we've got, it was rough, and now we're going to shape it. Okay. So this is not going to be the finished product, yep. but this is now going to get you to look like a real golfer, which is really important. Okay, so if you can hold your club up and stand up nice and tall, can you see how I'm just resting this on my hands? That's it, so my thumbs, and then I could just put my thumbs on top. Good. So your arms are nice and relaxed. Mm -hmm. If you watch my body now, so I can see that golf ball. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm seeing that golf ball. So in my back swing, all I'm going to do is turn right and turn left. You can see where I finished on the follow through. No, sorry, I didn't. So ready? <laughs> so I can see the golf ball. I've turned right and I've turned left. But what do you see now in terms of my body movement? It's like full 180. Full 180. Oh, and your, your heel's gone up. My heel went up. Great. And where was I facing? Forward. Okay. So let's see if you can do that. So I want you to turn right so you can see the golf ball. Yep. That's it. So you can see that. So you're going to turn I'm right swing. and then turn and through. Does so, it both heels go up? I only no. the one. Yes. As in, in the backswing, your lead heel is going to move slightly, but we're not going to lift it. So that was it's, my it's left It's going foot. to be mobile. Yes. Yeah, so okay. your, your left foot. So all you're going to do is see the golf ball, but I want you to still be able to see the golf ball once you've turned to the top of your backswing. So there, and now I want you to turn in that direction. Good. So... Um, can you now just put this club across your shoulders and then if you cross your arms over, okay, now, right. now I want you to get into your eight iron posture. So you're going to turn, bend in, so you're going to bend from there, just relax your knees, ready? So I'm going to move you now. So I want you to see the golf ball, turn, and now on the follow through, turn, 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 there you go, boom. Okay, can you just do that again? So I want you to see the golf ball, so you're turning, <laughs> there you go, turn right, and, squat. and turn left. Boom. Okay. What is that again? doing? 
So what we're doing now is there's actually six things that are happening when you're doing that. And okay. hopefully it just feels like you turn right and turn left. Yeah. So the first thing is we're starting to turn the body. So the body twists, turns, same type of thing. So we turn the body in the backswing, yeah. twist it in the backswing. But also, is there a weight transfer? Yeah, from front to back. Or back from front to, front. to back, that's it. Yeah. So what I know that you're doing before, because nobody taught you, is the body wasn't really transferring its weight. So you'd lost out on some potential distance. So ah. we're also starting to get a bit of a weight transfer. Ah. If we just think of the art of throwing something, if I go from here and I'm going to throw it forward. So this is weight transfer. to transfer this, well, what you're teaching here, this will push my yards further. further. Yeah, and it's going to feel so much nicer. Which yeah, because I is think you can go with with me. Yeah, you can play and play. You know, I'm still getting that same distance. I'm still getting that same distance. Yeah, there's obviously a way in which people get it further because everyone else can. Correct. I just wouldn't and you're know you're until... strong. You're fit. You're athletic. Thank you. We can use all those assets to to give us distance. So before you're hitting it, <laughs> let's say on average one fifteen. So yeah. by the end of this, we'll start to see those numbers change. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So you're just going to turn right, turn left. So there's a turning, there's a weight transfer. If you keep it going, just keep it going, keep it going, keep it going a few more times. Why the so, shoulders? Why, why are we holding at the shoulders? Isn't that a great question? It's just it's so easy. Once you've got it here, you can really feel how everything's moving together. Sometimes if you do it on the hips, they don't move very far. Yeah. So we're getting a real, almost a 90 degree, so into your hip, bend through hip, that's it. 90 degree turn here and up full turn that way so a 90 degree turn in that direction good so i guess the shoulders actually really drive this movement the shoulders hips um and actually the ground's really important so as you're doing this your stance is gradually getting wider what yeah wider. i just felt that <laughs> good actually, okay good. that's it so you're just going to turn right turn left okay so this the things that i'm seeing now as you're turning your weight transfer is also a rhythm to it you're getting into a nice rhythm it doesn't look rushed it doesn't look static that's it and now you're also starting to coordinate things. Yeah. So before your body was stuck when you'd hit the shots. Yeah. Now it's starting to move in a more coordinated way. How's your balance? Feels good. Great. So balance yeah, is going to be right. super important for hitting good golf shots. Okay. So I, want, I only want you to do this once. I want you to do exactly the same thing, but with full tension. With the golf so club here. Hold stuff. it there and get your whole body feel really tight. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Lips have gone in. It just hurts. <laughs> it's just uncomfortable. Feels uncomfortable straight away. Yeah, no, it's not nice. There's <laughs> no like flow to it. Yeah. Absolutely no flow. So it's this like is why it's, Yeah, so we create that little bit of awareness, but you can see now nobody can really move very well when their body's in that physically tied up state. So you've just let it all go. Mm -hmm. So now it's it's a word that we use is suplex is relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of tight. Okay. So that feels easy? Yeah. Okay. Never uh, been showed anything like that before, so that's... Okay, so if, if you can stand this side for me. Um, what I'm going to do now is, is try and put the arms on to that movement. So we're just going to separate the arms. So if I hold the club out in front of me, if I was now going to throw this club over your head, quite easy to do, quite natural. Yeah. Yeah, so that's if I wanted it. to put a bit of power in, I could lean back and I could throw it with a bit more authority. A dangerous. Would you say that that's quite a natural way of of throwing something? Uh, no. No? So, so you've just got a stick and you just want to throw it? Oh, I don't, the... I don't know. Is that... Okay, oh, so if you stand question. in. Trick <laughs> question. So if you stand on there, you hold the club. See, so as in we're going to hold oh. it correctly. That's it. Ready? So if, if you were just to throw this over your shoulder. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Does that feel yeah, quite natural? Yeah. Now, if we look at the golf club, this bit here, it's actually staying nice and straight. Okay. Yeah, so it's not like we're doing this. Yeah. Or we're not just stopping it here. Would you say that's more in flow? Yeah. Okay, so if you keep hold of it and just let that drop here. So the first movement, if we're thinking about the body turn, so mm -hmm. we're just going to turn the body here, and now just throw it over your shoulder. Okay. Does that feel easy to do? Yes. Okay, and then we'll let it come down. And now here, we'll throw it over the shoulder. Okay. Okay, so no golf ball. Okay, I've never done this before. Have a go. You've never done this before. No. Let me show you this. Okay, cool. So if you keep hold. So that's it. We're going to put the club just off the ground. So we're not actually going to put it on the floor. So now we're just going to turn and throw it over your shoulder. That's it. Do you feel the wrists are moving so, slightly differently now? So the movement is 
So I feel like I've always gone to like here. Yep. And then that's like a, a circular movement. But then when you're saying get here, it kind of that's it. It drops. That's it. And then you go through, and does and it? And then we let drop it go over that one. Well. That's right. So that to me feels like what I see on TV. That's and a it's starting to look like that now yeah. already. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So like we said, what we're doing is we're almost modelling it. We're getting a shape now. Yeah. Okay. No golf ball. So we turn, and then we let it let the wrist do their job. Good. So on the follow through now, that's it there, down. Okay, what feels different now? I feel like a golfer. <laughs> <laughs> so could you just do one swing with a very short back swing and a short follow through? Which is what I was doing yep. from the start. Yep. Does that feel restrictive? Yeah, I probably did go a little bit further than I normally would, but okay. yeah, I'm almost like clipping it. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm just going to pop that in there and just make sure that's in the right place. It's always good to double check. That's it on that one. There you go. So you're going to turn first, then let it go over the shoulder, down and through. Great. Just bring your feet slightly closer together. It's very normal when people start practicing, everything starts to get wider. Okay. So we're just keeping that so it's that natural stride. That's it. Over, down. Doesn't look good. How do you think? <laughs> It feels good. So if you were stood in front of a camera and you were on a film set, how would it look? I imagine pretty good. Pretty good? That starts yeah. to look very different. What feels different? My movement is wider, as in like I've got a, a wider breadth of movement. Yep. So it's full. It's like a full swing yep. rather than... Full swing. Okay. Limited. So what's full to you? What, what In terms of length, yeah, what, would, so, what would full look like? Well, it's kind of like... It's the whole thing. It's the whole. I guess I was. I only had a snippet of it before. Yeah. So yeah, I had maybe sixty percent of my potential. potential swing, and this feels like it's more towards a hundred. Yeah, brilliant. So, what do you think is going to happen in terms of speed? Because you know, ultimately, we all want a bit yeah. of distance. Do you think the speed of the club head will increase by it going further? Yeah, it's got the... more like kind of build up, isn't it? Yeah, more and momentum travel to get, yeah, to get to it. Leverage. Yeah, and then cool. same with the follow through. So. You, you've got further to travel after you've hit it, so you're going to give it more welly. Yeah. So what we're going to in do theory. now is we're going to put a ball in the way. Okay. We don't know what's going to happen because you've never done this before. And I'm kind of in a nice place because I know where you're going. You're on the journey. Yeah. So don't worry about what happens to okay. the shot. Just think of this as hitting it into a, a screen. There's no consequence to doing it wrong. What we're looking for is to see if we can just start to that get movement. the shape right. Um, and <laughs> things won't go right, but we'll we'll keep altering them. Okay. There you go. Brilliant. Soften. Relax. Relax. Yeah, brilliant. Usain Bolt. Oi. Okay. Can I hit a <laughs> shot for you now? It's so good to be able to catch. Don't be embarrassed. Uh, in fact, I'm going to hit two shots. Um, one might be okay, one might not be. I want you to tell me which swing you prefer. Okay. Right. Okay. More, potentially, more importantly, why you prefer it. So here's shot number one. Okay. Oh, easy. Four. <laughs> <laughs> where did that go? I didn't see where it landed. Uh, it went along the floor, 46 yards. Right, okay. okay. See, so that was swing number one. Okay. How does this swing look? That one's way better. What What was different? You were way more relaxed. Way more relaxed. What do you think I saw yours doing on the first one? Oh, did I lock up? I was, oh, yeah. I was really <laughs> tight. Okay, so what I would like you to do is we're going to have, you're going to have two practice swings. Okay. Without the ball. Without the golf ball. Yeah. One, two. And then we'll put the ball in the way. It's funny okay. you said this before, is um, golf isn't about power necessarily, because you can tense up and want to hit it really hard and rock. give it all the force. That was the word you used, force. But everything you did there was slow fluid and effortless. steady and fluid. And, and yeah, it went 120 exactly, yards yeah. where we wanted it to go. So. Um, so, what, that point. so just think again, we're not interested in distance, we're not interested in accuracy, we're just building up a shape that yeah. feels nice. Okay. Okay. So two practice swings, and it just almost feels like mine looked, if that makes sense. Okay, there, just let it flow. Great. And again. 
Can you do it even smoother? I think so. Brilliant. How did that feel? Poetic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great word. Great word. Can you just do exactly the same type of swing, but with force? No ball. Not on the ball. No ball. Yeah, you try, I'm trying to throw my body at it, basically. Yeah. And how um, did that feel as a, as a fluid motion? Still tight. Okay, so now just show me what it looks like in, flu in where it feels really fluid. Go back fluid. to fluid. Yeah, let's go back to fluid. Okay. Brilliant. I'm getting into the habit of not dipping. Yeah. It's just so, soft, isn't it? Softer, yeah, okay. So shall we put a ball in the way of that? So we're still just getting a, a, a shape of swing. Yeah, okay. don't worry about what happens. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what felt different? It was, oh, it's a good shot. <laughs> don't, don't go in. <laughs> um, you keep telling me not to worry about my shot, but that's it's nice automatically though, it? what I'm yeah, worrying going about. In the right direction, yeah. Um, it was slower. Okay. So like it, it was steady, slower, steady, steady, and softer. But the outcome is better. Quite so, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Should we do it again? Ooh. Whoa. I did say it was going to start to go further. So if you've overhit it, I might have to change the direction. So that one's now carried 124. Brilliant. Now you look like a golfer. Hold it. So how's your balance? Pretty, Pretty good. good. Where are you facing? Forward. What's your right foot doing? Everything it should be. Up on your toe, <laughs> yeah. Where's the club finished? Where it should be. <laughs> yeah, and how do you physically feel? Like a golfer.